Ang definition natin ng assets is something na merong physical structure or katulad ng uh, building, uh, ng, uh, ng inventory or meron naman mga assets na, na cash or receivables. Ito yung common na assets na alam natin. Pati na yung, ano, yung uh, mga intangible assets. Pero alam nyo ba na may assets na merong buhay? I mean, meron siyang ano, uh, parang, parang meron siyang uh, physical existence. Now, ito yung pag-uusapan natin after this. Well, bago tayo magtuloy, gusto ko munang batiin kayo ng Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! Kagaya na sinabi natin kanina, itong uh, asset na to is merong physical existence. But it is not like any other, uh, like uh, yung typical na assets like we know, like building, yung uh, inventories, or not even yung, yung, bang mga, yung bang mga receivables or any of these assets, no, or even intangible assets, but this has physical existence. May buhay ito, no? Parang tao. Yung nga lang, well, you can say na, no? ito yung tinatawag na biological assets. Now, ito yung bi itong biological assets, they have yung, ano, of course, we know that uh, meron sila yung, ano, yung bang, uh, yung bang uh, physical existence. Meron silang life. No? So, these are living animals eh, as well as yung living plants. Now, uh, itong, ano, itong uh, biological assets, no is uh, kasama rin dito yung agricultural produce no Ar well as you know yung agricultural produce this is the harvested product of an entity's biological assets so yung harvest naman ito yung ito na yung pinaka ano ito na yung yung bang uh, detachment of the produce from a biological asset halimbawa ito yung uh, yung uh, puno ng ubas no so pagka nag-harvest sila yung yung mga prutas doon ito na yung tinatawag na harvest no okay or the cessation of the biological assets life processes now examples of these biological assets agricultural produce and products that are the result of a processing after harvest so makikita natin dito sa no, sa tatlong columns yung biological assets agricultural produced and yung product after harvest. Now, dito sa biological assets, ito yung ano, um, isa dito yung sheep, of course, yung tupa, trees in the implantation forest, sugar cane plant, dairy cattle, pigs, tobacco, tobacco plant. And dito naman sa, ano, sa agricultural produce, we have yung wool, Felled trees, harvested cane, yung mga tubo, no? Ito yung ano, yung, ito yung mga alam niyo yung yung, yung pagkakapunta ka sa mall, yung yung sugar cane na ginagawa ng juice. No? So galing dito 'yan, no? Milk, carcass, yung mga hayop, no? Carcass ng hayop, pig leaves. And uh, doon naman sa ano, doon naman sa product after harvest. This includes yarn, Carpet, ito na yung nagiging parang finished product, no? yung inventory na. Logs, lumber, sugar, cheese. Yan, so common yan ngayong Pasko. No? And of course, yung sausage, cured ham. Speaking of ham, yung, uh, yung hamon. No? Yan, isa sa mga, ano yan, mga, mga typical na, 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 na hinahanda ng mga Pilipino. And uh, of course, yung cured... Uh, Tobacco. Uh, agricultural activity or simply agriculture. No? This is the management by an entity of the biological transformation and harvest of biological assets for sale or for conversion into agricultural produce or into additional biological assets. So, ito na yung, ano, kumbaga, kumbaga ito na yung nagiging inventory nagiging ano na kumbaga parang ready for sale na siya no 
Okay, examples are raising livestock, annual or perennial cropping, cultivating orchards or plantation, floriculture, aquaculture, including fish farming. Paano ba nagkakaroon ng biological transformation and how do we recognize the biological asset as an asset? Biological transformation comprises the process of growth, degeneration, production, and pre procreation that cause qualitative or quantitative changes in the biological assets. So, asset changes through letter A, growth, letter B, degeneration, and letter C, procreation. So, the growth is increase in quantity. Or, qual or improvement in quality of an animal or plant. So, ito, no? so a good example of this one, yung pagka yung sa, ano, yung sa mga, sa poultry, yung mga manok, no? So, pagka nanganak na nanganak yung, uh, yung, yung mga inahin, tapos nagkaroon ng mga, of course, yung mga sisiw na magiging manok rin, no? In the long run, no? So, ito yung, ano, ito yung growth, no? Yung mga chicks. And then, yung next is yung degeneration, which is a decrease in quantity or deterioration in quality of an animal or a plant. So, this is also true not only dun sa animal, but also sa plant. Sa animal, pagka, let's say, nagkaroon ng, ano, ng, uh, ng, uh, ng ba't itatawag doon, yung mga virus nung, uh, nung, nung hayop, o yung, yung, let's say, yung, ano, yung, uh, yung, yung sa sa manok yung yung bird flu virus no so nagkaroon naman and then nag, nag decrease sila no na peste or whatever tapos doon naman sa ano sa sa plant ganun rin no so so this is what you call yung degeneration and then yung last one yung procreation so nagkaroon ng bunga no creation of additional living animal or plant so halimbawa yung yung uh, yung cattle no so nagkaroon ng ano nagkaroon ng nag ng 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 bunga no ng calf no hindi bunga no kasi hayop yun no so meron siya ano eh. so ano ba yung ano yung yung anak niya calf no so ito so ito yung ano ito yung nag nag procreate sila parang ano rin no parang para mga tao rin no so naalala ko tuloy nung nandoon ako sa ano, sa when i was working as a finance manager sa sa isang uh, coffee making company so meron silang ano marami silang ang pinaka ano nila doon agricultural uh, product nila doon agricultural activity nila doon is yung mga puno so these are the biological assets tapos nag ano sila nag uh, to mga puno na to they are fruit bearing trees na namumunga ng ano ng, uh, ng mga ubas so ito yung ito yung ginagawang kape So, na ano yung mga pinipino yun, pinapatuyo, no? so maraming proseso. No? So, ito yung, and then yung, yung, mga, ano yun, yung mga beans na yun, no? which is uh, the production of agricultural produce. So, uh, which is, ito na yung pinaka-inventory uh, nila. No? So, ito na yung ibibenta, which we will now recognize as an asset no so meron silang ano meron silang biological asset and then yung yung produce nila ito yung pinaka inventory nila na ibinebenta no so now how do we recognize a uh, biological asset sa financial statement so an entity shall recognize a biological asset or agriculture when letter a the entity controls the asset as a result of a past event. So, laging present yon yung control na yon, Control of the asset as a result of past event. So, maaaring binili nila halimbawa yung, yung cattle, no? and then they, they raised it, no? and then uh, nagkaroon ng, ano, nagkaroon ng, uh, ng, uh, ng, 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 ng anak, no? Nag, may, may calf, no? and then so, nag-procreate sila, And this is, uh, this is, they have this, uh, na yung bang, meron rin siyang probable future economic benefits, which leads us to letter B. No? It is probable that future economic benefits will flow to the company as a result of this asset. And letter C, the fair value or cost of the asset 
can be measured reliably. So, present yung tatlong ano na yun, yung tatlong uh, elements na yun sa asset, no? Yung control, probability that future economic benefits will flow, and yung measured. It can be measured reliably. So, control, probable, and measure, measurable. Now, in agriculture, agricultural activities, control may be evidenced by legal ownership of the cattle and the branding of the cattle. So, ito yung mga, yung, ano, yung mga, yung pag-aari nila. Dito, dito nasasabi na, na merong, merong, merong tatak yun ng may-ari. And the measurement, a biological asset should be measured on initial recognition and and the end of at the end of the each reporting period at fair value less cost of disposal para naman dun sa agricultural produce agricultural produce harvested shall be measured at fair value less cost of disposal at the point of harvest and yung sa agricultural produce growing or bare plant is measurable at fair value less cost of disposal. So pag-uusapan natin mamaya yung uh, yung better plant no and then yung yung, uh, ano, yung yung mga bunga niya no halimbawa yung yung uh, yung example ko kanina yung puno ng ubas na nag uh, na nag uh, bear ng uh, ng fruits no para gawing kape. So we will take up the accounting of that one in a little while. Moving forward Please take note that yung agricultural land is not deemed as a biological asset. PAS number 16 on property, plant, and equipment, and PAS 40 on investment property apply equally to agricultural land for purposes of measurement. So, hindi siya, uh, hindi siya considered as a biological asset. Biological assets attached to land are often physically attached to land. For example, yung trees in plantation, uh, at, uh, plant, plantation forest. No? There may be no separate market for biological assets that are attached to the land. But an active market may exist for the combined asset. That is, the biological assets and land as a package. Another thing is that yung ano yung sa bearer plants naman no? So pag sinabi nating bearer plants, ito yung mga ano yung mga fruit bearing like fruit bearing trees for example no? So the good example here yung mga ano yung mga yung yung mga buko just ginagawa ko dito sa jacket na to. No? <laughs> Pasko kasi gaya nakapula. So again daro yung pula. So, konting segue pa yan, ha? Siyempre, kahit pa paano may, may, may konting forma. No? Okay, so, go na tayo dito. No? So, better plants naman. Ano ba yung better plants? Yun na nga, pag sinabing better plants, ito yung mga fruit-bearing trees. No? So, under the IASB or International Accounting Standards Board, decided that better plants should be accounted for in the same way as property plant and equipment because the operation of bear plants is similar to the manufacturing. So, kumbaga, parang sila yung, sila yung, nag, sila yung nagbibigay ng output para bang sa manufacturing. Yung equipment, ito yung gumagawa ng finished product. Yung equipment, yung, ano, yung, uh, kumbaga, yung analogy nun, siya yung parang pinaka-barrier plant. No? Siya yung, siya yung, ano, siya yung, uh, siya yung, uh, Ah, uh, eka na yung nagbibigay uh, ng output. No, so ganun rin sa ano, sa let's say sa puno, let's say sa puno ng uh, ng nyog, no? Yung uh, ito yung yung kanya mga fruit bearing, ito yung mga ano, yung kung ano man yung mga products na pwedeng gawin doon sa ano, sa sa nyog, no? Sa, sa buko, no? Or palm oil, or what have you, or sa sa ano naman, in the case of yung sa mga ano naman sa coffee, yung mga sa vineyard, no? In case of the grape vines are the better plants and the grapes are the agricultural produce. So ito mga agricultural produce na to like the given example a while ago, yung mga grapes nagagawing ano, nagagawing uh, nagagawing uh, coffee 
or alak no or yung sa ano yung sa ano naman yung sa sa buko naman yung nyog no gagawin sa palm oil no okay so these are yung inventory naman ito yung harvest so sila naman yung uh, once harvested the agricultural produce is measured at fair value less cost of disposal at the point of harvest so the fair value less cost of disposal at the point of harvest is deemed as the cost of inventory Okay, so moving forward mga kajaporms, puntahan naman natin itong example na ito. No? So, itong, uh, itong about yung sa biological assets. So, just to reinform yung, kanin, yung, ano natin, yung mga theories kanina. So, at the beginning of the current year, an entity purchased 100 cows which are 3 years old for 15,000 each for the purpose of producing milk for the local community. So, itong mga cows na to, ito yung, ano, ito yung tinatawag na ano, mga bearer animals, no? Sila yung, ano, sila yung nagpo-produce para makagawa ng, ano, uh, ng, uh, in the case of a cow, yung gatas. Hindi sila yung penis product, hindi sila yung, yung, yung binubutya, no? Kinag meron pa silang, ano, meron silang, ano, yung, yung bang produkto, yung, yung milk. Or in the case of uh, yung sa yung sa manok naman yung mga chickens no yung eggs nila so ito yung of course uh, binibili natin sa grocery or sa tindahan okay so uh, on July 1 the cows gave birth to 20 calves okay so nagkaroon pa sila ng produce no okay so the so tumaas nag that this is uh, considered as a gain the active market Provided the fair value less cost of disposal. So this is typically the uh, the measurement of the biological asset. As follows, a newborn calf on <coughs> July 1, it's 4,000 pesos. Newborn calf on December 31. So ito yung, uh, of course, that's a balance sheet date, no? yung December 31. So tumaas yung value niya for 5,000. And then, uh, nung, ano na, nung uh, one and a half year old calf, so the following year na, naging 7,000 na. So, this would be also recognized yung kanyang fair value. No? Okay, and then three years old cow, nung December 31, no? this is um, 18,000. Tapos the following year, nung uh, medyo nag-matured sila ng kaunti, so, naging tumaas pa yung value nila, naging 24,000. So, i-record muna natin yung transaction dito. Magmula doon sa, ano, sa pag-purchase ng 100 cows, yung 3-year-old cows. Okay, so, ti-record the acquisition of the 100 cows for 15,000 pesos. So, 100 cows times 15,000, ting fair value niya. So, this is a total of 1.5 million. So, debit biological assets. So, mapupunta siya dun sa asset section, no? Under yung biological assets. So, this is 1.5 million. And then, credit cash for 1.5 million. Ayan. Yung pangalawa naman, to record the birth of 20 calves with fair value of 4,000 each or a total of 80,000. Okay, so... That is a gain, like I said, no? Kasi, ano, kasi, kumbaga, dumami sila, no? Okay, in quantity. And so, debit, biological assets, so, kinakapitalize yan under biological assets, so, ilalagay rin natin doon, no? So, under the asset section. For 80,000, because it's 4,000, yung newborn calves, times kung ilan sila, 20, 20 na calf yung pinanganak, so that's 80,000 in credit gain from biological asset. Ayan, so for 80,000 and yung pangatlo, this is to record the change in fair value of the cows and calves on December 31. So you, this is uh, well, dito tayo na ganun since, since uh, December 31 is uh, normally the adjusting period, no? So ito yung ito yung uh, financial state uh, date, no? So so, kailangan, i-reflect natin yung, ano, yung uh, fair value nung biological assets. Now, since uh, tumaas yung kanyang value, no, um, debit biological assets and credit gain from sale for 960,000 pesos. So, paano nakuha yun? So, here is the computation. As you can see here, 
Okay, so yun yung competition. So yung cows, cows which are now four years old. So this is uh, ito yun, no? So 100 cows times 24,000. Okay, so this is 2.4 million. Ayan. Now, yung calves which are now one and a half years old. So, nakita natin, di ba kanina? Di ba 7,000 yun? So, that's 7,000. So, 20 calves yun. So, that is 140,000. So, i-add natin yung total fear value niya as of December 31. In the following year na. Which is 2,540,000 here. And then, less natin yung carrying amount of the biological asset. This was the carrying amount of the previous year. So, ito yun. Um, this is, this is uh, 1.5 million. Ayun yun. Yan, yung may tick mark. Plus yung 80,000. Okay? Diba nung, ano, nung pinanganak yung 20 calves? So, that's 1,580,000. So, kukunin lang natin yung difference. And that is the change in fair value. So, that would be debited as biological asset for 960,000. Ayan. So, difference nitong uh, total fair value. That's your carrying amount for last year. And credit gained from a biological asset. So, here is the financial statement presentation. In the year-end statement of financial position, the biological asset shall be presented as a separate Line item at the fair value of 2,540,000 classified and classified as non-current asset. So the income statement for the current year would show gain from change in fair value of 1,040,000 that is 80,000 on uh, July 1 and 960,000 on December 31. So the price change and physical change separating the change in fair value between the portion attributable to price change and the portion attributable to physical change. So this is encouraged but not required by PAS number 41. So the change in fair value of 1,040,000 can be separated into price change and physical change. So makita natin dito yung fair value of 3 years old cow on December 31 that's 18,000. And then yung, uh, yung uh, acquisition cost of 3 years old cow nung binili siya is 15,000. So merong price change siya na 3,000 within that year then. And then uh, yung fair value of 4 years old cow this is after 1 year. So the, uh, that's uh, 24,000. Less yung fair value of 3 years old cow nung December 31. That's 18,000. So meron siyang physical change, no? Since uh, tumas yung fair value niya for 6,000. And then yung fair value of, uh, of a newborn calf on December 31, that's 5,000. Versus yung fair value niya nung pinanganak siya nung uh, July 1 of 4,000. So may price change na 1,000. And then yung fair value of one and a half or one half year old calf on December 31, that's uh, 7,000. Less yung fair value of newborn calf on uh, December 31, uh, which is 5,000 in yung previews. No? Okay, so that would be a physical change of 2,000. And then yung four, year, four years old cows. So yung price change niya. So this is uh, 100 cows times uh, 3,000. That's, uh, that would be 300,000. Now, and then yung physical change niya. So, 100 cows times yung 6,000 na yung na-compute natin do sa physical change. That's, that would be 600,000. And then yung one and a half years, year old calves, price change niya is 20 times 1,000. So, yung mga na-compute natin kanina yung 1,000, no? Saka yung 2,000 as well as yung 4,000, no? So, that is uh, yung price change niya is 20,000 yung total physical change is uh, 20 20 calves times yung uh, 2,000 na ano na na nag-increase yung fair value niya by 2,000 so 20 times 2,000 that's 40,000 and then yung physical change at birth 
So that's 20 times 4,000, so that's 80,000. So for total change in fair value of 40,000. So yung summary niya, as we can see here, yung uh, price change, four years old. So this is four years old, four years old cows. This is 300,000, yung nakuha natin kanina. Plus yung uh, one, one and a half year old calves. So parang sinina na lang natin. Kinategorize lang natin yung price change dun sa physical change. So yung, uh, so that's uh, yung nakuha natin which is 20,000. So 320,000. And then yung physical change niya. So pinagrupo-grupo lang natin. So yung four, four years old cows na 600,000. Tapos yung one, and a half, one half year old calves na 40,000 and yung 80,000 yung from birth no so that's 720,000 so dito dito natin na account yung total total change in fair value of 1 million 40,000 ayan so parang ina na lang natin kinategorize lang natin yung price change dun sa physical change all right so if you have any questions with regard to this uh, topic on uh, on biological assets, you may drop your comment there. Of course, subscribe and share this uh, information. Of course, bago natin makalimutan, no, yung mga nagpapashoutout pala dyan. No? Okay, si, uh, si Trisha Sargento and Sinares. And si uh, Ran Sanchez. And uh, of course, si, uh, si Mark and uh, Nathaniel. So, happy new year to you guys. If you find this useful. And uh, well, Happy New Year to all. God bless. Uh, stay safe and stay healthy.